okay guys this is a continuation of the vasculitis and in this video we will be discussing the vasculitis that is basically affecting the medium vessels right so in the medium vessels we basically have the muscular arteries that are uh, supplying the organs right and in the medium vessels we have three types of the vasculitis the first is the kawasaki disease second is the polyarthritis nodosa which is also known as pen in short and then we have the third type which is known as a Berger's disease right which is also known as a thromboangiitis obliterans so first of all let us discuss the kawasaki disease so basically it is a disease of kids or you can say the children right under five years and it is basically uh, it is most often affecting the coronary arteries so it would produce the symptoms in the heart right and it is acute febrile disease it means that the uh, person would have fever when uh, he is affected by this disease then uh, kawasaki disease is transmural and uh, transmural means that it would affect all the layers of the vessels it means the tunica intima media adventitia okay all of it all of them then it is basically a disease of the coronary artery as i've told you before so in the coronary artery it can lead to aneurysms and ruptures so it may lead to the hemorrhage you know so uh, okay and what kind of necrosis it leads to it leads to the fibrinoid necrosis then coming towards the clinical features of the kawasaki disease so the clinical features are that the, uh, there would be a persistent fever for more than five days conjunctival uh, congestion there would be cervical lymphadenopathy and erythema in the palms and soles then the pathogenesis of the kawasaki disease is that it is a viral infection and it is a hypersensitivity type 4 reaction and there are also some uh, cytokines which are released in this case and b cell antibodies are produced in the kawasaki disease and these antibodies are ec and smcs right the treatment of the kawasaki disease is that we don't give any aspirin you know because uh, the aspirin causes rye syndrome in the children right so the immunoglobulins they are preferred uh, it's a preferred treatment in the kawasaki disease okay then we have the second type which is polyarthritis nodosa or which is also known as pen and this is a disease that is affecting all the ages right and basically uh, in this disease the immune cells they confuse the endothelium for the hepatitis b virus right and this happens in one third of the cases while in the two third of cases um, it has unknown cause right unknown etiology and like the kawasaki disease it is also transmural it means that it would affect all the layers then it is also a fibrinoid necrosis like the kawasaki disease right and it can lead to aneurysms multiple aneurysms on the blood vessels right so that may uh, you know uh, you so you may find what the string of the beads on the angiogram right so this would be the appearance of the blood vessels on the angiogram okay and it is segmental it means that it would affect the different segments of the arteries right and the pulmonary artery it is not involved in the pulmonary in the pan disease right and okay so uh, what effects is gonna has uh, it's uh, it gonna has on the organs so basically uh, definitely you know that when it would have the aneurysms right so uh, definitely it's uh, gonna decrease the blood supply to the organs right so it would lead to the organ ischemia so uh, the first artery that would uh, affect is the renal artery and uh, what it uh, what effect would have on the renal artery is that it would lead to the hypertension because you know that the renal artery is uh, basically an artery that that what that does what it basically uh, maintains the blood volume you know that so if the renal artery is affected it would lead to the hypertension if the mesenteric artery is affected it will lead to the abdominal pain git bleeding if the brain arteries are involved then it can lead to the neurological symptoms right if the skin artery is involved then it will lead to the skin lesions and the treatment is that you give corticosteroids to the patient of the pen and there's no granuloma in this case okay then we have the berger disease which is also known as thromboangiitis obliterans so thrombo means a clot a thrombus right angi means vessels and the itis means inflammation and obliterans means obstruction so you would have a clot in the vessels that are basically supplying the fingers and the toes right so this leads to the tissue death okay and uh, okay then it usually affects the men 
and uh, in 20 to 40 years, right? Then what is the basic trigger of the Berger disease? So it is a tobacco smoke, okay? So basically how the tobacco smoke is affecting, uh, it is causing that uh, Berger disease. Be uh, basically, you know that the smoke um, has what? Basically, smoke produces the free radicals, okay? And the free radicals, you know, that it, uh, the free radicals cause EC injury, the endothelial cells injury. So, in this way, it can lead to the Berger disease, right? Then the Berger disease is segmental, right? As you have seen in the pen, okay? So, okay, now the Berger disease, it affects basically um, more often which arteries? So, the tibial artery and the radial artery, okay? Then it is also transmural. Okay, as in case of, you know, uh, pan disease, we have also seen uh, the transmural uh, in the Kawasaki disease, right? And the Berger disease also has granuloma in it. Okay, there is also the formation of the granuloma in the Berger disease as well. Okay, then the Berger disease had the clinical uh, signs, which are Renaud's phenomenon. You know that Renaud's phenomenon is uh, when there's a vasoconstriction, right, to the distal uh, distal areas, okay, like the, your fingers, your toes, right? So uh, what happens that it will lead to the cyanosis of the fingers and the toes, right? So that is a uh, Renaud's phenomenon, okay? And it can also lead to in-step claudication. So guys, this was all about the media, the vesicolitis of the medium vessels. And if you have any question, you may ask in the comment box. And thank you.